large size. Small floral effusions. Axillary and sister. Interlobar effusion. Anterior and sister. Posterior and sister. Mediastinal effusion. Apical pleural opacity and finally subpulmonic effusion so these are the nine types of pleural effusions so coming to first one moderate sized effusion so as the name indicates it is of moderate size and you can see the classical fluid level here where concavity high up into the axilla with obliteration of CP angles and domes of diaphragm. So here you can see the characteristic homogeneous shadow reaching high in axilla also with or without tracheal shift coming to the next thing small pleural effusion here it is difficult to see by clinical examination what you can see is CX or PA only blunting best will be a lateral view or USG chest. Coming to the next form that is axillary EN cystic. Here shadow will lie against chest wall so there will be a shadow against chest wall and a well defined medial convex margin so let us see it in a form of a diagram so suppose these are the airways and lungs and this is the mediastinum so you can see the shadow like this as if it is coming from the chest wall a well defined shadow with convex margin so similar shadow seen in extra pleural effusion so what does extra pleural effusion means and what will it cause so it is usually seen when a inflammatory lesion of a rib breaks down so whenever an inflammatory lesion of a rib breaks down 
or breaking down of lymph nodes of chest. Coming to next thing, very very important, interlobar effusion. So it is spindle or sausage shaped thing. So it is a spindle or sausage shaped. The shadow is homogeneous. So homogeneous shadow with well demarcated. So margins are well demarcated. Well demarcated margins lying with its central axis in lying with central axis in expected position of fissure. So usually in PA view if effusion in minor fissure. So that will be well seen. Suppose in a lateral view effusion in a major fissure well seen. Next coming to anterior encysted form. So let us see the anterior encysted form. So simple, so this is the lungs and this is the mediastinum. So anterior encysted form, usually you can see the shadow obliterating the margin of the heart. So it tends to lie, so it lies medially. Merges with heart. So it tends medially, merging with the heart. And in lateral view, so effusion seen. So that is, it is anteriorly encysted. So it is seen behind sternum. So difficult to differentiate between retrosternal, mediastinal tumor and anterior. So retrosternal, mediastinal tumor. Versus anterior encysted, it is difficult. But what differentiates between these two is in pleural effusion drawn upward and can merge with shadow of dark. So usually, if you trace it, if it is an effusion, it usually merges with shadow of dark. So this encysted form can match with shadow of diaphragm. Next coming to the next form that is posterior encysted form. So again these are the lungs and this is the mediastinum here you can see. So posteriorly encysted without any obliteration of the mediastinum and in lateral view it is posterior as far as ribs. So usually confused with lower lobe lung abscess. Next form is a 
optical pleural opacity so optical pleural opacity it is due to thickened pleura or else effusion in apex so due to TB or sometimes there can be atelectasis in elderly sometimes neoplasm so if there is neoplasm search for rib destruction if it is atelectasis search for alteration of vascularity so there will be shifting of figures crowding of vessels so usually better diagnosed through serial x-rays Next, coming to mediastinal effusion. So, what happens here is so usually it is uncommon form. So, I will depict it. So, supposing this is the mediastinal. Homogeneous opacity with the lateral convex border. So this is how it appears. So a convex border. So homogeneous opacity. is similar to encysted pericardial effusion and also any heart tumor. Coming to the final one, subpulmonic effusion. So how does it appear? So this is lungs media spinal domes of diaphragm. Here the effusion appears to track along the domes of diaphragm. So it appears like elevated dome. So effusion tracking along dome appears like elevated dome. So lateral view and USG confirms. Thank you.